All right, well, get ready to boogie down or maybe moonwalk with Michael Jackson. The Tony Award winning musical MJ is here in San Francisco at the Orpheum Theater. The musical is centered around the making of the 1992 Dangerous World Tour, offering a rare look at the creative and collaborative spirit that catapulted Michael Jackson into legendary status. This morning, we are joined by the man portraying, portraying the king of pop, Roman Banks. You're coming in hot this morning. I know. I am. I am. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. It's yeah. been kind of a crazy weather day so so glad you actually made oh, it yeah. in. Yeah, apparently I didn't know San Fran doesn't get rain like this. They <laughs> no. just told us and we were like, "Oh, great, cuz well, it's been raining." <laughs> well, where is home for you? Georgia. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys get a little wet weather there? Uh, regularly. I mean, we definitely have all four seasons there, but I think we just keep bringing the rain wherever this tour goes, even though we're also bringing the fire. Oh, you're, I mean, definitely. Can I just show you this? Look at this. Good morning, Gianna. This is for my friend, Brett. You have to see MJ the musical. It was fantastic. Yeah. This is the second text from friends who have, who saw it in Los Angeles, yeah. who are seeing it up here in the Bay Area. And it's playing through February 25th at the Orpheum. So that's make sure good. you check it out. I mean, mm -hmm. it's really resonating with fans. I mean, you know, that's the thing about Michael's artistry is it expands worldwide, especially nationwide. And, you know, it's multi-generational. So we have people who are coming in their in their 60s and 70s and then there are people who are coming who are you know their uh, 30s and 40s and then they're bringing their children who come in their full like michael <laughs> uniform and really? they're like oh my god like yeah they get they're so wide-eyed especially if they come to stage door and you get to say hi to them oh my gosh they're on cloud nine or they make little videos and they dance in the street after the show so it's it. precious yeah it's okay, real precious so tell me i mean is that pressure for you it, michael is an icon yeah, and i mean yeah. so unique as well as a, like a performer on stage right. what is it like kind of stepping into those shoes it was pressure when i initially got the job because how do you go about saying like yeah i'm gonna play the king of pop i'm gonna play like you know one of the most famous entertainers to ever live and I, it dissipated when I realized that my team wouldn't let me fail. You know, we have an incredible team. Uh, Tony winning choreographer and our director, Christopher Wielden. Uh, our two-time Pulitzer winning uh, book writer, Lynn Nottage. Uh, the Talawega brothers, Rich and Tone, who danced with Michael on stage for 10 years. Uh, and across his career, even choreographed the You Rock My World video. So everywhere I looked, there was support, you know, uh, even down to like my physical health with chiropractor uh, meetings and, you know, my vocal stamina uh, with lessons with Nick Cooper in Los Angeles. Like, I couldn't fail. Like, it wasn't an option. So I was like, <laughs> okay, basically, now that I know I can't fail, let me just work as hard and intently as I possibly can. And um, I still work, you know, I even, you know, during shows, I'll like have Michael pull it up on my TV and yeah, you know, there's always something to learn. Always so. perfecting it. And I'm glad you bring that up because, you know, we as fans and as, you know, theater goers walk in, sit down and enjoy this beautiful, you know, presentation, yeah. especially of something like this with MJ the Musical. Right. But there is so much work that goes into that. And not only that, you're <laughs> traveling so much too. Yes, we are. <laughs> yeah, that is the one part about tour that, you know, I'm just not inherently nomadic. You know what I'm saying? So I often, when we time, when it's time to go, I'm just like, oh, Okay, yeah, I do need to get up and pack, I guess, you know, but it's the beautiful thing is you're bringing this story to places, you know, who otherwise might not ever go to New York to see this show, you know, and so I love making theater more accessible because I grew up in a place where it wasn't very accessible, wow. you know, and you, you never know who you're going to inspire, you know, and so that I try to always remember that sometimes I'm on stage and I'm like, go out there and inspire the next. And I think it's important for, especially as we were talking about kids going to the show to see themselves and someone on stage oh and think, God. I can do that as well. Oh and I God, think you me. are, me. I love that you're <laughs> representing that. So I have to ask you your favorite Michael Jackson song to perform. My kids asked me for a bedtime story once and I couldn't think of anything. So I recited the lyrics to Thriller. True story. <laughs> <laughs> but that's favorite. good. I know. They it's were like, close to midnight yeah. and something evil's lurking in the bed. They're like, oh my God, yes. you know? It was so good. <laughs> Tell me what your favorite MJ song is. You know what? It changes. It's so it changes depending on like what the show is giving me, what I'm going through in life. Right now, it's human nature, just because like I think especially with like our world's climate right now, oh. it is such a great moment in the show where I can literally just embrace the humanity around me and the beauty around me, and also. I think Michael just had this, especially when you watch interviews of him, he had this beautiful way of seeing the world in just its purest way and humanity and, and just this 
lovely light. Like there's interviews where he's just like looking out at the sky and talking about the stars and the trees and the nature and God's creation. And so I try to remember that when I go into human nature and I take a deep breath and I'm like, let me just enjoy this. Oh. Sometimes I enjoy it a little too much and I'm like, let's get, <laughs> let's get the move on. But well, I love it. That is, I, you know what, can we be friends? Yeah, I like you absolutely. You are such a bright light, <laughs> not just to the stage, but definitely to our show this morning. Oh, thank, thank you so you. much for coming in. Yeah, I course. appreciate it. Okay, go see MJ. I'm not kidding. Yes. Everyone's recommending it at the Orpheum. Please. It'll be there until February 25th. All right, so Roman had a little bit of rain today, yeah. and that is going to stick around. We're going to send it to Jessica, our meteorologist, with all the latest on this.